हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ शेम स्टार ग्लोबल स्कूल दिस इज नबीला फातिमा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री दैट इज द डेली सल्तनत द टर्किश इन्वेजन्स द अरब्स ट्रेडेड विद इंडिया सिंस द एशियन टाइम्स डेटिंग बैक टू सेवेंथ सेंचुरी when the indian king ordered trained horses from arabs for their cavalry during the early years of 8th century the territories of sindh came under the control of arabs the arabs control lasted for more than 150 years and it was also known as islamic golden age it also led to cultural development in india in the field of science astronomy mathematics and medicines flourished as a result of culture exchange between the arabs and indians but the power and glory of arabs soon faded away with the coming of turks in india the two most prominent turkish invaders were mahmud of ghazni and mohammad ghori now let's study about mahmud of ghazni mahmud learned about the wealth of india he invaded india 17 times in the span of 25 years mahmud did not want to rule over india his invasions were undertaken purely to capture the wealth of the country during each of his raids he attacked wealthy temples and took everything to ghazni next prominent turkish ruler was mohammad ghori after the death of prithviraj chauhan mohammad ghori became the master of delhi region and eastern rajasthan and laid the foundation of the turkish rule in india mohammad ghori did not stay in india he left the provinces that he had conquered in the hands of his slaves who acted as his regional governors they set up the delhi sultanate about which we will study in this video the rule of five dynasties of the delhi sultanate the delhi sultanate is a term used to cover five short lived dynasties delhi based kingdoms or sultanate mostly belongs to turkey and afghans origin the sultanate ruled from delhi between 1206 to 1526 when the last sultanate king which was ibrahim lodi was replaced by mughal ruler that was babur in the first battle of panipat the five dynasties were first one was mamluk dynasty it ruled between 1206 to 1290 then khilji dynasty which ruled from 1290 to 1320 then tughlaq dynasty 1320 to 1414 then we have sayyid dynasty 1414 to 1451 and at the end we have lodi dynasty which ruled between 1451 to 1526 during the sultanate period there was a fusion of cultures resulting in building a beautiful monuments literature music religion and clothing and even the urdu language was born during this period as a result of intermingling of the local speakers of sanskrit and prakrit with the foreigners speaking persian turkic and arabic language so this was the introduction of the chapter the delhi sultanate in the next video we will study about each dynasties in detail please watch the video carefully and if you have any problem 
in any topic then please ask from me by putting your questions in the comment section thank you